Hello guys, um, hope you enjoyed today's video. I have got an AI to write me a script for today's video. Um, it's inspired by Popcross Studios, which is an awesome channel. You should check it out. Okay, here we go. The world of Avian is vast, but the many cultures, one known as the Shinkin to the locals, was a very religious tribe. One of the many gods they believed in was Gagon, a giant. When he fought, when he fought in front of him, the Shinkin believed this would give them the great power to use. Gagon could breathe fire, he could create portals to other worlds, and he had the power to create worlds at one at a time. The Shinkin lived during the Dark Ages, so all the gods they had worshipped are either gone or dead. They do have a belief that they are of, that they are god of water and vegetation, who had taken who had taken the shape of a giant to kill the evil forces that roamed the world. Shinkin knew about the dark gods they worship, but but because they worship a god of fire, the gods have not had not killed them, and many much, and many lived much longer. Many years ago, the Shinkin lived in a forest where they had created a god to protect them. Gagon could not travel through worlds with water, so there had been a fight over who would live before they could. They could decide which god he should live and which he didn't. The god of the Shinkin, Gagon, was a giant with urgent limbs and a mane of red hair. Although he was never known to have taken his personal arms across his back, there is evidence that he did wield them once he felt strength one then once he felt strength was at its peak. The gods was also one of the few that never had to fight to live, as Gagon's power was one of the most indestructible on the planet. Gagon's power was so powerful that it became evidence that the Shinkin that wielded him would inevitably be slain by the god. This did not stop the Shin from from waging war. However, it was for Gagon, for it was Gagon who taught them their first offensive tactics. Gagon's spirit was so strong that long after the Shinkin's power had waned, he never ceased to haunt them and force them to return to the earth for millennia, never allowing them to rest until they had slain him. Gagon was immortal and to kill him was to commit oof. The Shinkin believed that the Gagon that Gagon the giants that, that Gagon the giant's powers included and had been the Shinkin believed this because he was strong and able to perform tasks which other gods couldn't. Well both both and could perform each of the five traditional martial arts, it was always very calm and did not ex exhibit the strength and calm, did not understood the awe in the traditional sense of and in the ancient times, did not know the from ancient, so, and so was unable to mask the skills of the Shinkin and in the sense of and until. The Shinkin were a powerful people who believed that he was a god. The next god we talk about that the Shinkin believed in was one that ruled over the others. The first Shinkin lord was the Sky Father of Heaven. He was believed to stand in the sky with a flaming sword in his right hand. He also had four legs with the names of four animals he used. The tiger, the lion, the fish and the dragon. The Shinkin would worship the Sky Father of Heaven in order to help the earth through its travails. Another Shinkin Lord was the Heavenly King of Earth. He was believed to watch over the planet Earth where Shinkin lived. His name derived from the four continents of the world and of the four cardinal directions, the east, west, north and south. There are two ways to show veneration for the he Heavenly King of Earth. To praise him for and his teachings, to sing a song of praise and to pray, to venerate his name with offering for the sake of to pray for the benefits of those who serve his will and offer sacrifices to call upon his name, to give him thanks and offering, to
to praise and to thank him as much as he pleases. The God called the heavenly king of earth is not a single God, but rather a personification of the four continents of earth. In the Shinkin religion, <coughs> he took the form of a man. He was originally a poor man whose name was the God. The gods of the Shinkin did not worship a single deity, but an amalgamation of deities. Shinkin believed that the Sky Father of Heaven and the Heavenly King of Earth were the same and was God in person. Because it was impossible to have to have to be God in the sky because it was impossible to be God in the sky. He is said to have four legs and long beard and white hair. Shinkin worshipped him in the sky because the Sky Father was the only God to whom they prayed. But Shinkin were able to, but Shinkin were, were also able to worship the heavenly King of, of Earth from the ground, like many Chinese religions. But more, but more than but, more than worshiping deities, Shinkin believed in a belief called amulets, or blessings. Tora, the next god from the Shinkin tribe, is a man with a turtle's shell and a snake on his upper shell. People say he has seven heads and there are seven women who love him. He also has seven sons called Toru and people say their mother was from the Shinkin tribe and his mother's brothers married theirs and his mother's father married theirs and their mother fathers went and married the, mothers, the mother of this Toru and she was the mother of Toru. Sadly, he never played tennis. After they killed Toru, son of the Shinkin god, son of the Shinkin god, and when he was killed, they killed the, their mother of Toru. From the Shinkin people, people knew, know the story, but don't have a clear translation of the word Toru. If you can find any Toru, then you can translate it. Or if you come across a single Toru, which means son of Toru, tell me about it here. Please, do not claim it. It is Toru unless you really know. Athletic skills. <laughs> he can swim fast. He is a strong swimmer. He is a very good weightlifter and, used, and he used to jump and lift weights more than 300 pounds of iron. He jumped on a... What, he once jumped and lifted 100 pounds of iron in the air and he could jump six feet from one block and he jumped and lifted six... 200 pound of iron in the air and in one day he could jump two trees and lift 150 pounds of iron. These are his athletic skills. History. He was born when his mother was going hunting and she was attacked by a bear and she had to throw him away because she couldn't bear to leave him behind on a tree. She decided to leave him but when she got back in town her mother told, told her that he could live and that his family would love him, and the Shinkin were people from were from the Shinkin tribe, so the Shinkin people wouldn't hurt him. The last goddess of the Shinkin to look at today is Gaiara. Gaiaria. Gaiaria is the first goddess to look at today, but she is the last goddess to look at least at least at. To look at at least one day in the series. Gayari is strong, is a strong goddess with big muscular thighs and very long thighs as shown below in the photo that shows her thighs compressed to her legs. The first goddess from the beginning of the game to look at today has been Gayaria. Gayaria is a woman who likes to spend her days lounging about in public pools while she bathes. Since Gaiaria is an animal goddess, her name is Gaiaria the deer. Uh, Gaiaria has many similarities with other animals such as bears and wolves, such as her name, deer. The goddess has only looked at Gaiaria for, fur, for her fur because she only has four. The other three female Shinkin that... Gaiaria have looked at have been looking specifically at Gaiaria's fur and not directly at her. This is to avoid hurting Gaiaria's feelings since the goddess is sensitive is a sensitive person due to being the goddess of the Shinkin. What does this thing have against the Shinkin? I do not know. 
Gaiavia also looked at the Shinkin as if she would be jealous of them to determine if they were looking at her. Then Shinkin looked at Gaiavia. Looked at Gaiavia. Uh, Shinkin looked at Gaiavia as she would be jealous of the animals. Not to look at her directly and not because they would be jealous of her. If the goddess had looked at the Shinkin like they would be jealous, the Shinkin would not have been happy. This is the first Gaiavia goddess to look at Gaiavia the deer today. Hope you enjoyed today's video guys. It took a really long time to make and the AI is a it's called well I'll put a link in the description to Popcross and the AI. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you liked and subscribed. Bye!